Here is a quick video on how to measure the resonant frequency of your secondary coil. I have the secondary coil mounted by itself with no primary, that's very important. And I'm connecting it to a function generator through a 6.8K resistor. Uh, the value of the resistor isn't critical. Anywhere from 5K to 20K should work just fine. The function generator I have set up for a sine wave and I use the maximum amplitude as possible, in this case, 20 volts. I then connect an oscilloscope probe on the output side of the resistor and then connect that to an oscilloscope. To find the resonant frequency, we're just going to sweep the function generator through the frequency range until we find a voltage minimum. So I'm starting at about 130 kilohertz, slowly increasing my frequency until I see a voltage minimum. So that voltage minimum is at about 220, 219 kilohertz. So that's approximately the resonant frequency of my secondary coil. The final step is measuring your resonant frequency with your toroid installed. So you take your toroid, put it on top, and we repeat the process. So with the toroid attached, the resonant frequency should be lower. So we'll sweep the frequencies lower. And again, look for that voltage minimum. And there we go. Our minimum is about 133 kilohertz. So the resonant frequency with the secondary and the toroid is approximately 133 kilohertz.